After a sudden and unexpected arrival, the floodwaters in Nashville are subsiding, and a crew from BBN has been able to access our transmitter site to assess the damage and begin cleanup. Unfortunately, the equipment inside the transmitter building appears to be a total loss. Ron Muffley explains. This is our transmitter in Nashville. As we mentioned, we were under about 10 feet of water here, river water, very caustic uh, water with chemicals. And you can see the back of the cabinet is pretty muddy and miserable, but the inside of the transmitter is what we're most concerned about. And as you can see, uh, all of the caustic chemicals have eaten away at the internal structure of the transmitter. The circuit boards here are uh, all corroded and I pulled this off just to give you a view of the back of the power supply of the transmitter and you can see this device called a transformer uh, and the blue back in here where it's all corroded through all of the uh, connections. Uh, unfortunately when we came we had hoped that the transmitter might be salvageable but in taking a look at uh, the, the level of the damage uh, to be honest, the only thing we can do is to uh, trash the transmitter and start all over again with a new one. I wish it were uh, not so, but that's, uh, that's what we're going to have to deal with. Monday and Tuesday, the crew was able to get most of the mud out and get the building gutted. Now Ron shares where they are right now. The inside is pretty much gutted uh, from most of uh, the equipment and materials. And now it's time to start the cleaning process. We have a plumber who is on his way here with a giant water tank and we have some uh, uh, gallons of disinfectant that we're going to be spraying over the inside of the building to try to disinfect it from uh, the pollutants that have floated down the river. If you can come in with me for a minute here, hopefully we can get enough light for you to see a little bit. Uh, we've removed the uh, old transmitter, which is in such bad shape, and put it off to the side, leaving us some space over here to be able to put the new transmitter in once it's uh, uh, manufactured and uh, received from the uh, company. Uh, what we're doing now is just getting water tanks together here to do spraying so we can disinfect all of the walls and then we have a pressure tank on the outside. We'll bring some hoses in and spray everything out to try to get rid of all of this uh, pollutant because we have no idea uh, what was floating down the river. We do know it was very caustic because uh, you can see with the equipment how it's actually uh, eating the metal. It's not just rust, but it's actually corrosion on the metal from whatever was left uh, in the river. So that's uh, the process for the day, trying to clean the room out and dry it out so we can begin populating our racks with new equipment and uh, getting the new equipment in that we've ordered. Thank you again for your prayers.